Greetings from Miami, Florida. I'm Patrick Hopkins with Dennison Yachting, and today I'd like to welcome you aboard Minx, a 2007 Marquis 690. This yacht has a four stateroom layout and is replete with creature comforts. Whether you're just going for a slow cruise on Biscayne Bay with friends, or you prefer to pack up the family and head for the Bahamas, this Marquis 690 is the perfect platform. As I like to do, we're gonna to start today's walkthrough here on the swim platform. The retractable platform houses this 12 foot AB tender. Just to port are your 250 amp shore power cords on Glen Denning reels. Back here, we have access to the crew cabin as well as your primary engine access. As we pass through this watertight door, immediately to starboard is your full size berth. And to port, an electric head, shower, and sink. Rounding out this space is a Bosch washer dryer combo unit. Let's move forward into the engine room. Here we have a pair of MTU 12V2000s. This engine package pushes Minx through the water at an easy cruise of 20 knots. She'll reach a maximum speed of 28 knots at 2300 RPM. From here, let's step up into the cockpit. With Teak Underfoot, which ends at the side decks, we approach one of my favorite items on any boat, an aft docking station. Even today, as we left the slip and returned, this was the preferred station for docking. There's a centerline table with fixed seating aft and these four removable chairs just forward. By adding a few chairs, this space can comfortably seat eight. One of the things that makes this space a guest favorite is the molded hardtop that provides shade to this area. Integrated into the hardtop are JL audio speakers and LED lighting. From here, follow me forward to the bow. Note that there are side decks, both port and starboard, that converge at this yacht's foredeck. What I like about this design is the clever use of space by these compartments to port and starboard that are perfect for housing lines and fenders. Also found in this area are large stainless steel cleats, ground tackle, and a raw water washdown. Making our way back aft and into the cockpit, we slide open this large salon door. To keep pace with the freshness of this space, her owners have added these three white leather lounge chairs, as well as this white leather sofa. The pop-up LED smart TV is connected to an Intellian i6 satellite and is complemented by the Yamaha surround sound, turning this space into a rainy day oceanside cinema. It's hard to miss these gorgeous hardwood floors that were just installed in 2019. Seamlessly, we transition over to the galley, which is on the port side. There's a newly added stainless steel oversized refrigerator with two freezer drawers. Moving forward, a microwave convection oven, a three burner cooktop with a hood, a two basin sink, and a Miele dishwasher. As you see it in its stored position, the dinette is all the way to starboard. When being used for interior dining, this table easily slides to port, allowing dinner guests plenty of room to get in and out from behind the table. As we exit the galley, one step up we arrive at the lower helm with a radial settee offset to port. This is a comfortable seating area where you can keep the captain company. Centerline is a captain's chair and a helm station that is a duplicate of the one on the flybridge. This space is complete with a Raymarine E120 multifunction display, engine monitors, and autopilot. Directly below to port is your main 12 volt switch panel, spotlight remote, and monitor for the aft deck and engine room camera. To starboard, there is a VHF, bow and stern thruster controls, as well as your MTU throttle controls. Perhaps the most dynamic control here at the helm is the yacht controller. This option allows you to dock the boat from anywhere aboard. With the yacht controller in hand, you can get a closer look at your docking situation by walking out this motorized starboard door. Leaving the helm and moving forward down the starboard staircase, we arrive in the first of four staterooms, the Ford VIP. In the Ford VIP, we have a centerline berth, hanging lockers to port and starboard, a TV, 
surround sound, and symmetric hull side windows. The VIP has an ensuite head to starboard with a full stand up shower. Leaving the VIP and moving aft, we arrive in the port side stateroom. This stateroom is very practical with double berths and an additional third Pullman bunk. This stateroom is complete with a TV and a hanging locker. From this stateroom, you have ensuite access to the day head with a full stand up shower. Moving aft into starboard, we arrive in the bunk stateroom, which is just one step outside of the master. Following the lower guest companionway all the way aft, we arrive at the master stateroom. This full beam midship master has a king size berth to port. There's plenty of storage in the stateroom, complemented by this large walk-in closet. Turning our attention to the starboard side, we have a love seat, which is next to this cabin's TV. This room also features blackout shades for those who prefer to sleep in. The sizable ensuite contains a vanity, a bidet, and a shower stall with a tub. From here, follow me back to the main deck. A rare but great feature for a boat in this class is this interior staircase that leads up to the flybridge. This is the final stop on today's walkthrough. All the way aft is this open deck space with an aft facing seat and a great place to set up deck chairs or chaise lounges. This spot is perfect if you want to be out in the sun. Turning our attention forward, let's now step underneath this newly installed white bimini top. To starboard, we have an L-shaped dinette, which is a great place to catch up with friends over cocktails, whether you are underway or just hanging at the dock. Those cocktails I reference can be made at the adjacent summer galley. This summer galley is equipped with an ice maker, refrigerator, sink, and plenty of storage. All the way forward on the flybridge are these three captain's chairs that face the upper helm. The helm here is a duplicate of what we saw below, but the obvious difference is that of the environment. When you think boating, there's just something that draws you to be outside, not to mention the incredible visibility from this vantage point. On behalf of Dennis and Yachty and myself, Patrick Hopkins, I wanna thank you for joining me on today's walkthrough. If you have any questions or would like to see her in person, feel free to contact me.